graphene transistor, which will be the, the, uh, uh, the basics um, of uh, graphene integrated circuits, um, is, is it doesn't, it, you, can't, you can't switch the current off completely, mm -hmm. unlike in silicon. That the silicon transistor is a very good switch, so you can switch on, off uh, easily and at will. In graphene, it's very hard to switch that current off, um, and that brings us to our current research. As, as with any new technology, of course, uh, it requires development. Um, this, there's lots of issues, such as um, the reliability, manufacturability, and uh, noise, electric, electri electrical noise in the device, etc. Et so it, it would be, it would be few, few years before this technology can actually make it to the market. I mean, we have a new facility, a state-of-the-art facility with, with very good equipment. Um, we use a f uh, focused ion beam systems mm -hmm. for this, uh, to fabricate this device. Um, uh, we, used, we have two, two state-of-the-art uh, focused ion beam systems. One is the helium ion microscope, which uses helium as ions, and uh, the other one is focused ion beam, which, which uses gallium as um, ions. Uh, that, that allowed us to make very fine and, and carve very fine geometries in, in, uh, in graphene, unlike e electron beam lithographic, lithographic systems which cannot carve um, extremely fine, sharp structures on graphene. Mm -hmm.